but charge Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him for he shall go over before this people and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. Well, God says, Moses, Joshua has seen God work himself and I have proved him and I find him an acceptable leader for my people. Now what I want you to do is charge him and encourage him and strengthen him. Now he says charge him. That is, make him aware of his responsibility. There's a great deal of talk about commitment these days, isn't there? Commitment. I wonder if we haven't got the thing around backwards. Say, well, we have to be committed to the work. What I find in the New Testament is that the work has already been committed to us. In other words, if I can sign myself in, I can sign myself out. But if God has committed me to the work and committed the work to me, I'm obligated until he rescinds that order. And so I can't just sort of say, well, I just don't have a burden for that. I just don't feel committed. I'm not committed in that area. Well, it doesn't really matter whether I'm committed or not. It has been committed to me. The charge of being faithful and obedient and holy, clean in a wicked world, of carrying on for God in spite of the difficulties, it has been committed to me. This is the will of God, isn't it? That has been committed to each of us. And so he said, charge him. Make him aware of his responsibilities. Then encourage him. I think this is making young men and women aware of their relationship with God. This is our God. Every generation has to discover that for themselves. Not just the God of our fathers. You can't go off to college with this ringing in your ears. Well, now remember who you are. Remember who your parents are. Remember what you've been taught. That won't last at two minutes at university. Well, my daddy says, <laughs> you got to know it for yourself. This is our God, and he will be faithful even unto death. And then strengthen him. That is, make him aware of his resources. We're not in this thing alone. We have the indwelling Spirit of God. All the power that raised Christ from the dead. May we be encouragers of others. That the work of God might be carried on. And that God might be glorified as we seek to be faithful. Not afraid of the enemy, but faithful to God. Charge them, encourage them, and strengthen them. Thank you.